Hello, hello everyone. My name is Hector. My name is Lungwani. Today we are focusing on mathematical literacy paper two. Yeah, whereby we will be looking at uh, mathematical literacy paper two. Paper two. Paper two. Our today's topic. We will be learning on how to calculate speed, distance, and time, which is we will we'll be focusing on speed, uh, distance, distance, and time. What are the strategies? of a uh, learning distance speed and time the first thing that we must do whenever we will go to our final examination and come across question that will require us to calculate speed or distance or time we must first uh, draw three say uh, three red angles red angles we must first draw three red angles this is going to help us when we are answering our question that we will be given on our final examination after drawing those three rectangles you must draw the line in the middle draw the line in the middle draw the line in the middle after drawing the line in the middle uh, draw another line going down draw another line going down draw another line going down okay when we are done of doing that uh, on the first small triangle always we must put distance we must write d that stands for distance and then here on our left hand side we must write s that stands for speed then here on our right hand side we must write t that stands for time let us do the same on other the triangles distance speed time distance speed time what do we call this so that we must not forget i believe that some of us at our homes we have dstv so we must call this thing of us so that we must not forget dstv which is we will say d s t v but v we won't include it we are doing it so that we must not forget and then we put our d on top our s on our left hand side and then our t on our right hand side okay fine after drawing these uh, three rectangles what should we do we must draw other three rectangles again below the triangles that we have drawn three other triangles again then what do we do after drawing these three triangles again on the first triangle, let's say they will require us to calculate speed. Okay, the other one, time. The other one, distance. Let's say we will come across a question uh, that will say, as learners, we must calculate the speed. What should we do? We must draw an empty triangle like this and then we must write D on top. After writing D on top, we are no longer uh, dividing the circle the way we did. But what we will do, we remove the S that was supposed to be here. We don't put the S that was supposed to be here. Then here, we put T. Then uh, our thing will be in this way uh, d divided by t whereby distance divided by time 
we will say distance divided by time. This is how we write our triangle when they require us to provide answers on calculating the speed. I hope you understand. Then we go to the second one. Let's say they will require us to calculate time. What do we do here? We write D on top. Then we remove the T that stands for time here. Then after removing it here, we put S. And then we will say a distance divided by speed. That's how we do our, cal our calculations. Then we go to the third one. Let's say they will require us to calculate the distance. What do we do? When they say we must calculate the distance, now we don't put D that was supposed to be here. We don't put it. Then we will say S times T. Why do we say so? Because they are all below. So if ever you will be uh, calculating distance, you must always know that you will always multiply or times. That's how we deal with our thing. We are not done on the method that I am showing you or the strategy that I am showing you how to take a, a mathematical literacy paper two on the topic of speed, time, and distance. Okay, fine. Let's say we will be dealing with this one. We will be dealing with this one whereby we have to calculate speed. Do you remember that we did not put S here? Where do we put this S? This S will come here below and then we will say speed is equals to distance divided by time. Whereby we will say distance, distance divided by time. This is how we calculate our speed. Then when we go to time, we will say, since we did not put the T for time here, we, we will come here uh, to put a uh, time is equals to distance. Distance divided by speed. Then after that, we come here now. Since you know that we did not put our D here, that stands for distance. We will put a distance equals to speed times time. This is how we will be calculating our things. There is no way that, guys, you are going to fail this thing. This thing, it's very easy. Not so long. We must try to find a question paper whereby we will be answering the answer. We'll be answering the question from the question paper. Here, I have 2022 November paper 2 question paper that we will be dealing with or that we will be solving that we will be solving okay the question paper uh, it reads as it follows on their return journey Danny and Susan took a train from Hiroshima to Tokyo okay uh, it says the train left Hiroshima station at six minutes past eight then the second bullet point it says it stopped at eight stations and route for four minutes at a time okay the third bullet point it says it reached tokyo at 12 03 which is three minutes past 12. then the fourth bullet point it says the distance the train traveled is 816 kilometer then what should we do we must calculate the average speed at which this train traveled which is here we are going to calculate 
the average speed which is on this topic or on this question they need us to calculate uh, the speed not anything else the speed so what is going to help us to calculate the speed we go back to our triangles and try to see which triangle that is uh, helping us on on calculating the speed i think is the first one so answering the questions we will say they departed at six minutes past eight and then they arrived at tokyo at uh, three minutes past 12. let us let us count from 8 to 12 how many hours it's four hours they traveled four hours which is four hours and then we removed the minutes we did not put the minutes we only calculated the hours and then we must add the minutes which is six plus four plus three which it gives us uh, it gives us 13 minutes it gives us 13 minutes so since it gives us 13 minutes what should we do now we must find out that a uh, one hour is formed of how many minutes it's 60 minutes one hour is formed of 60 minutes one hour it's formed of 60 minutes that is equals to one hour one hour and then after finding out that a uh, 60 minutes it formed one hour what should we do we must say 60 minutes times four hours that they traveled times four hours which gives us uh which gives us 240 240 then we plus it with that 13 minutes we plus that 13 minutes which it will give us a uh, 253 then from there don't forget that we want the speed we are calculating the speed this is the formula of how to find out or break down the question and it is a must for you to do this so that you can get full marks then from here what do we do we will write a speed since we found out what do we want we will write speed then we route we write the kilometers which is 816 kilometers which is uh, is the distance that they traveled uh, 816 kilometer then don't forget that when we're calculating speed what do we do we divide by time uh, this is our time this is our time which it will be 253 then we must find the final answer the final answer it will be we will say 816 kilometers divide by 253 253 which it gives us a 3,2 two this is our final answer you have you have earned your six marks that you needed on this question guys don't forget to like subscribe and share